Guess what we just got in. We are looking at today the brand new Naked and Famous Crimson Sky Selvage Denim. But before we rip into these jeans, rip into that like button and subscribe as well. And let me know what pair of denim was your favorite from the fall winter collection this year, or if there's any other pair of jeans you think that would be cool for me to review. With that said, let's get into these jeans. So if y'all remember the funny story from the last video, you'll know that I bought the Cell Perfect Salvage Denim, but in the wrong size. Let's get into the jeans. Oh, 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 oh. Cool back, cool back. Put that out to the side. So here's the need to know for the Crimson Sky Selvage. These jeans are over dye, which is one of the things that I was really looking forward to, which just means that after they were all done and good to go, they went ahead and re-dipped them in indigo. And that's why you get such a super dark color here. So over dye denim goodness. Look at that. Is like almost black, very stiff. But the cool thing is that these are stretched, so these won't be super crazy, and hopefully they fit. Oh, we'll go ahead and open these bad boys up, and immediately you can see the red poking out. So Bezad, the denim otaku extraordinaire from Naked and Famous himself, made sure to point out that on the salvage line, you'll be able to see that it's dyed because it was over dyed. It was dipped again, so. Just get a look at that, look at that color. It is crazy. The contrast between the red with this over dye denim is insane. That's part of the amazingness of it. But the interesting thing about these is that, and Bayes has clarified this about the jeans, is that they won't fade into that red. Instead, they'll just fade into that blue that was underneath before it was over dyed and then into the white. That's not to say if you don't have any rips or tears into these jeans that that red won't come through, because it will. I have experience with that and some other pair of jeans of mine that ripped and you can see the weft. However, it's still just such a clean looking jean. And when you go ahead and flip the cuff, you'll be able to see some of that crazy dark red action. I love it. Look at that. Dark, deep red. And then if we go back to the Selvage ID, like I mentioned earlier, or as Bayzad mentioned, if you see the Selvage ID here, you'll see that it's blue on this side, but if you flip it, you'll notice this was the original color of the Selvage ID. Before and after. Love it. Other than that, we have the rivets, just dark rivets as usual. The leather patch, which was all red, which is a nice hint to the inside. So story time. I actually had a pair of the Sumi Ink denim that they did years and years and years and years and years ago. And that was a pair of denim that was over dyed just like this, but in an ink. So it was like black ink. So it was black on the outside and then faded into the blue. And it was probably my favorite pair. And Bay said, if you're watching this, please tell me that we're doing something like that again, because that would be amazing. But that was my first experience like having over dyed jeans. And anyone who's had raw denim for any amount of time knows that the indigo already wears off so much because it's unwashed, it's raw, right? So with over dyed, you can imagine I won't be sitting on this couch anytime soon with these jeans. So. Looking forward to that. Now let's get a shot of the inside real quick. Again, this deep dark red looks amazing. So I'm just gonna grab a pant leg just to show the contrast between the colors. This is amazing. I'm so excited. I can't wait to try these on and make sure that they fit. Haha, <laughs> because I actually sized myself correctly this time. Look at this inside. It is insane. The contrast between these jeans are just insane. Oh. Like it says, deep indigo over dyed with that crimson weft. Can't get this anywhere else but naked and famous. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for, the fit check. Uh, I'm kind of nervous, I'm not gonna lie, after the last pair, hopefully I finally actually measure myself correctly. First thoughts, definitely big. So it's the weird guy, so it's supposed to taper a little bit more under the leg. A little more boxy than I would've liked, but it's fine because I've gotten jeans tapered before. Um, waist is good, way better than the cell that I bought last time. Probably could've sized down maybe one more, and then pray that the stretch was all right. But I was already still scared from the cell and didn't want to take any chances. Still will be wearing them. I'm super still excited about them. Yeah, the red really pops out from the denim. It's great. Not bad. Like I said, I'd be wanting to 
taper it a little bit, which isn't too bad. And then on the waist wise, I mean, if I wear it with a belt, it should be fine, so wearable. So overall, excited to have these. What did I learn? I learned that 36 and weird guy might be maybe one size too big but not too bad overall. I'm used to tapering these jeans anyway, so it's not gonna be a big deal. You know, support small businesses. Still gonna get a lot of wear, still gonna be wearing these bad boys, so I'm not too scared. Just wear a belt, if anything. Like I said, it's all good in the, like the waist and everything. And I'll just show off one more time, yeah. Not too worried. So I gotta make sure I can cuff and show off the color. So, real happy. And they're already starting to crease. All right, so that was the Naked and Famous Crimson Sky Selvage. Super excited to wear these pair out. I've been in desperate, desperate, desperate need for a new pair of raw denim. Super happy to review these for you. If you like this review or the other one that I did on my channel, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. Drop a like if you like it. And make sure to check out Naked and Famous. Buy a pair of Tate and Yoko. Shout out their Friday live streams that they've been doing. Beza has been doing one every week. So shout them out. Support them if you support raw denim like I do. And I'm going to get off this couch before I stain it. But I hope you all enjoy. And here's to the next one. Bye-bye.